Superbase is built around Postgres. And in Postgres, you can create what we call functions. Functions can be triggered on insert, update, delete, and other steps of your application. If you don't know what are functions in Postgres, I just typed it in Google. Let's look at the definition together. A PostgreSQL function or a stored procedure is a set of SQL and procedural commands, so like SQL scripts that we got in Superbase, such as declaration, assignments, loop, flow of control, etc., stored in the database server and can be involved using the SQL interface. So here in Postgres or Superbase, we can create our function. And if we want to have some example, we can click here on the SQL editor. And remember, on the SQL editor, we can write scripts, but we also got custom scripts already written by the Superbase team. But at first, what I want to do, I want to get back to my table editor. And remember, I built this app that is fetching the orders from my table here, orders. So what I want to do, I want to go back to my table orders. And here I would like to increment a field. However, there is no field that I would like really to increment. So I'm going to add one column here by clicking here. And here we are. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a column called views. And it's going to be number of views of my order. It doesn't make really sense here, but it's just to give you an example. The data type, it's going to be an integer two. Okay. And the default value would be zero. Okay, we don't allow nullable. I'm going to click on save. And here it's going to add to every column, actually, of my orders here the views. So here we don't get a zero. I don't know why, maybe I, I went too fast, but anyway. In fetch, I'm going to look at my order. And here we are. We see down there that we got the views. So we would like to increment this count every time we fetch, actually, the order. We can do that with functions. There are two ways to create function in Superbase. The first one is to go to the SQL editor and to write a script like I have here. Or either you can check to take one here. The second way is to go to database. And here you've got functions on alpha. So when you click on functions on alpha, here I already created a function, but I'm going to click on create new function. Here I can create my function. So let's say that I'm going to recreate the one I have. It's increment and it's going to be on public. And here we return void, but later we will need to return trigger if we want to pass the trigger. I can add my new argument and down there I can copy paste the part on PNP GSQL, the language to write my function. Okay. So down there, you would have your function. Let's say that as an argument, I would have my order ID, which will be an integer. Uh, no, not an integer two, but it would be a UUID. Here we are. And down there, I would copy paste the function that I want. And here we are. You have advanced settings to change the behavior. Here is going to be volatile. We've got our language. We can pass some params and we can work on the type of security, check the security invoker. Here you will have your function and then you click on confirm and it will save your function. Finally, you got your function appearing here, increment with the argument raw UUID with a return type void. And when you click on it, you can edit it, uh, go to the doc or delete the function. The second way is to go to your SQL editor and to write your own function or to select a script there. So we are going to select this increment field value. We are in the SQL editor, of course. I'm going to click on here. And here we have create function increment here. So we've got some Postgres here, PLSQL, sorry, that has been written for us here immediately. And what we would like to do is to change a bit this function to adapt it to our column. All right, I have a query here to actually increment my table view. So here is the function that I wrote and I got my update orders and I'm setting the view plus one where the row ID will be equal to ID as a language SQL volatile. There we go. So I'm going to click on run and here we are. My function is now existing. If I want to check, I can go to database and to function up here 
and what's appearing here, I got my function increment. Now I'm getting back to my app, and I have a function increment view, where I call superbase.rpc increment. The first argument of this function is the name of your uh, function, actually. So .rpc is the function to call increment here, and we pass here the object with the row ID. Remember, this row ID, we need it in our function. So if I get back to my query, here we pass the row ID, which is the UUID. The row ID, it's simple, the ID of my order, okay? So here I'm just changing Daniel Garcia, so I put here uh, the ID immediately of Daniel Garcia. Let's go back to our app and let's check if we pass from zero to one. Back in my app, I'm going to update. Let's look at the network and we see down there that I called increment. Here we are. If I look at the object in the console, I got view zero. So I'm going to update again and let's look there. And here we are, we got views one here. Of course, we don't count the view that we just passed. So if we get back, actually, here we are, we see that we got two views for uh, Daniel Garcia, okay? So that's how we can call functions immediately from our app in Superbase. We create our function first, then we look at the role level security uh, policies, if we got something to change to um, allow the, the client to update or insert. And finally, we call it by using superbase.rpc, the name of the function, and we can pass as many arguments as we want.